2021 overall was a pretty amazing year for alternate art Pokemon cards, uh, but wherever there's treasure, there's often a bit of trash. And in the case of this video, we're going to be looking at probably some of the worst alternate art cards you can get. Considering the extremely low chance of actually pulling any alternate art card, whether that be a V, which can often be somewhere around 1 in 100 packs, or a V Max, which could be 1 in 300 packs, if you get one of these that are on the list today, you're going to be pretty pissed off. Instead of pulling an alternate art V Max Umbreon, or an alternate art V Tyranitar, or Dragonite, you end up with some rubbish like we're going to go through right now. I will say that some of the cards on this list are quite unlucky. They just happen to be sort of the worst of the best, whereas some of the others towards the top of the list are basically just crap. A couple of quick honourable mentions for cards that I personally have a bit of an issue with, um, but other people seem to quite like. Firstly, Shadow Rider Calyrex V from Chilling Rain. I just think it's kind of boring, to be honest. There's just not a lot happening there. Secondly, we've got Inteleon VMAX from Fusion Strike. I don't know, like the concept is awesome. He's got a super long tail and he's a sniper, but the cards just, I don't know, doesn't show as much as it could have in my opinion. And lastly, I've mentioned this before, Blaziken VMAX from Chilling Rain. Hardest card to pull in the set, most expensive, most popular. I just find it really weird. I don't like it, I think it's ugly and I don't get it. So moving on into the actual list, at number 10 I have got Galarian Sloking V from Chilling Rain. Uh, I think in the Japanese set this is really cool and the artwork is unique but again kind of like Blaziken it's just a bit weird. Um, I don't know, I don't like the texture so much. I think I apologize if I'm missing some sort of hidden meaning uh, running through the river there but Overall, like, I really like all of the Galarian, Slow King, Slow Poke, you know, that, that version of Pokemon, but I just kind of think the card could have been done better. Next up at number 9, and it really pains me to put this fella here, uh, but it is from Fusion Strike, Greedent V. I actually personally really love this card. I think it's bloody hilarious. He's got all these little minions dragging him around. He's just sitting there scoffing up food, and he even has a move named Nom 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 Incisors. So from like a hilarity point of view, it's right up the top, but the problem is it's just such a crap Pokemon. Who wants Greedent? He's just useless. They're just a fat squirrel. You know, it's literally only let down because of the Pokemon they chose to put in this artwork. Um, so unfortunately, I've had to chuck him on the list. Next up at number eight, and in a similar vein, we have Golok V, whose artwork is actually kind of nice. Like, it's very unique. I like that he's at least doing something, so it probably puts him a bit higher than some of the other cards on this list. At least he's not just sitting around, he's, he's putting the work in. Um, but again, he's a bit of a nothing Pokemon. I mean, he looks a bit cooler than Greedent, but um, the artwork probably just doesn't have quite as much going for it. Yeah, I feel bad putting him here, but that's where he is. At number 7, we have Medicham V from Evolving Skies. To me, he kind of looks like that weird friend that we all have that's always doing something stupid and doesn't realise that everyone else is making fun of them at times. Um, it kind of looks like the other Pokemon have just put him in his own little circle and asked him to dance like a clown. Uh, so I think when compared to some of the other awesome cards that we've been getting this year, this one just is not quite cutting the mustard. So yeah, number seven for you, Medicham, I'm sorry to say. At number six, we have our first VMAX card on the list, and we have Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX. Again, look, it's not terrible. It's not, it's not horrendous. I'd still be happy to pull it over a nothing pack, but for the odds of getting a VMAX card being so low, like 1 in 300-ish, maybe even more, and then you pull this one instead of that super sleek uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex version, I just think he's a little bit disappointing. He's not really offering as much as he could have for an ice horse with a rabbit riding it. And moving into the top five, we have Noivern V, a game from Evolving Skies. A stacked, stacked. He gets points for his uniqueness. I like the, uh, the Batman-esque dropping down sort of action that he's rocking. Backdrop's just very basic, not really showing much. The artwork in terms of the style is not quite as eye-catching as some of the other alternate arts that are possible and especially when you're comparing it to some of these amazing other cards that you can get in this set he's just really not up there whatsoever so unfortunately Neuvern V although it is very unique and kind of one of a kind it's 
just not as good. And at number four, we have Rapid Strike Urshifu V. Uh, I think he lost a lot of points because he basically looks exactly like his full art version, but he's a million times harder to actually pull. Um, the alternate version of this, the single strike Urshifu V, is awesome. So that also knocks him down. He's just, again, not doing much. He's literally just holding his hands up. And there's a little bit of water around him. And that's it. There's nothing else to this card. Nothing much more to talk about. It's boring. And making our top three, we have Sandaconda V from Fusion Strike. For him, he is outshone by the heater. He's literally just sitting in a house. There seems to be a person in the backdrop. And again, when you consider that you could have instead pulled a, a Mew or a Celebi, but instead you get stuck with this Spud Snake, um, you're pretty disappointed. In at number two from Battle Styles, we have Single Strike Urshifu VMAX. The reason it's so high on this list of rubbish is that it looks worse than its V version, and it's literally just a slightly larger version of the VMAX card. It has some red-ish clouds in the background, but otherwise it's just it's just a picture of this thing standing there with its fist up. It's it's not doing anything. I can't see any other Pokemon in the in the artwork like you can get with some of the other cards. I mean if you compare this to the Rapid Strike version, it just gets absolutely blown out of the water. So considering the odds, especially in battle styles of pulling a VMAX alternate art card are like ridiculously low, something around the 1 in 600 um, area and you could instead just pull a V alternate art Tyranitar this is highly highly disappointing but taking the top spot as the worst alternate art card that you could pull is by far in my opinion Duraludon V Max from Evolving Skies why is this card so bad well firstly have you looked at it like it's just a skewed building with eyes and pink farts floating around it but I guess the other thing to consider is just how good of a set Evolving Skies is and some of the other VMAX cards that you could have pulled instead. So you just happen to pluck a pack out that's a 1 in 300 odd chance of, of, of getting something so good that's an alternate art VMAX. You know all the options in this book. There's Leafeon, there's Glaceon, you've got Umbreon and Rayquaza and you get this, this, this rubbish, rubbish building that's just made a bit of a hole in the dirt and that's where he belongs he belongs in the dirt and it was a waste of time putting this card together and it's just so sad and disappointing for anybody who pulls this knowing what else you can get i i feel for you guys and i'm sorry because this card sucks thanks again for listening to my ramble uh i do feel a bit bad because overall we got so many amazing cards this year and even on this list some of them aren't that bad greedent i mean i love you i'm so sorry for putting you there but you know, it is what it is. Um, let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. I'm assuming disagree. Um, it seems to be the common trait here. But it's good to get other opinions. And um, thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>